Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. As we know, style and designs are really important part of any website. That's why we will learn that how we can apply style with the React Router 6. So what we are actually going to do in that part, here you can see that for a moment we have three links like home, about and contacts. So we will convert them uh, with a proper navbar, right? So how we can convert, we need to apply four points there. First of all, we will apply some style with that links. Then we will replace these links with the uh, nav links. What are the nav links? Why we need to replace them? I will tell you. And then I will show you that how we can apply styles uh, or add style with the nav links and uh, how we can add classes with the nav links. And these classes are not actually belongs to JavaScript. These are, uh, I'm talking about the CSS classes. All right. So now let's uh, start with the first point and uh, add some style with these uh, ul and li so what i'm going to do i am adding a class with that uh, ul and let's say my class name is navbar not navbar it's it should be navbar right so let's define this uh, css inside the uh, 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 app.css so let's put here uh, navbar and now you can see that uh, the text is not actually in the center for a moment. So I just, this is actually in the center. I want to move it in the right side. So what I'm going to do here, uh, text align right. And after that, what I'm going to do, I want to uh, change the color of these links. And uh, I want to remove this you can see this underline I want to make them in a single line so what I can do here so I am just putting here display and that will be in line block again this is looking uh, not looking better because it should be uh, ally here now perfectly fine not actually perfectly fine so what we can do here we can add some padding also there so let me add here padding 10 pixel so now this is much better padding 10 pixel but still we have to add some more things uh, let's say we want to remove these links and all so how we can remove them so here we have a link here you can see that we have an anchor tag here right and uh, we can apply the style with the these links so if i'm putting your class name and let's say my class name is navbar nav underscore bar underscore link and now let's see is i'm applied to style here or not so I'm just changing the color of this one with the uh, red so now let's see what we are going to do, do do here you can see that color is properly changed there is a no issue if we check out the console there is a no error at all everything is working fine but what actually uh, react router suggest I want to show you there in official documentation react router because they said that we should not apply the style with the link so what we supposed to do i want to show in the official documentation okay uh -uh. let's jump on active link and here you can see that we have to uh, swap the links for nav uh, nav links right if you want to add some style and all right so that's why even it will perfectly working fine with the links also but as they mentioned i am just uh, changing it with the uh, nav link and i am replacing it with the old styles of uh, all these links with the nav bar now great and now we can add this class with the other nav links also right and here what i'm going to do i'm putting here color is let's say proper black and uh, text 
decoration should be none in that case now let's check again now this is much better if you want to just remove this padding then you can put here save five pixel i guess that is also looking fine now you can see that everything is working fine there is a no issue so uh, let's say you want to add some color on the hover also so what you can do here you can just simply put here colon hover color is green test text decoration is already none now let's try now you can see that if i am hovering no this is not actually changing so let me check what's the wrong with it yes now we can see that this is changing the color on hover perfect so let's say you want to add some style directly what we can do here we can just simply add here style with these links with the double curly braces and let's say you want to apply a background color and let's say this is red and here we go we can directly add the style if you want to just add a style a little bit only then you don't need to add class but if your class your style is repetitive and uh, properties are also uh, more than one or two then we should use class classes right so that's all for this that part and in next part i will tell you that how we can uh, show that a link is activated or not currently we cannot identify that which link is activated or which link is not activated in next part i will tell you that how we can identify and highlight that active link or active page thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel